Introduction If we raise a body above the ground and then release it, the body falls down towards the earth due to the force which must be acting on it. The force acts due to force of attraction between the earth and the body, which is called force of gravity. As per the example, the ball thrown upward will fall downwards due to gravitational pull or force of gravitation. Gravitation causes variation of weight of a body varies from place to place. This would be well understood by studying gravitational phenomenon. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Define force of gravitation Define universal law of gravitation Understand the meaning of free fall Distinguish between weight and mass Understand thrust and pressure Understand the Archimedes principle Force of gravitation The gravitational pull Everything is pulled downwards towards the earth the force with which two objects attract each other is called force of gravitation. The force of gravitation acts even if the two objects are not connected to each other. Centripetal force The force due to which the body moves along the circular path acting towards the center of the earth is called centripetal force. The gravitational force between the sun and the earth keeps the earth in uniform circular motion around the sun. This is the centripetal force which acts between the earth and sun. Universal Law of Gravitation Everybody in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of separation between the two objects, where G is the universal gravitational constant and the SI unit is Newton. Universal law of gravitation is also known as Newton's law of gravitation. Unit and value of gravitational constant By arranging the expression for force of gravitation we have G is equal to F into R square upon M1 into M2. SI unit is Newton meter square per kilogram square or Newton meter square per kg square. The gravitational constant G is equal to the force of gravitation which exists between the two bodies of unit masses kept at a distance from each other. The value of universal gravitational constant is G is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. Importance of Universal Law of Gravitation The force binds the earth, the motion of the moon around the sun, and the tides due to the moon and the sun. Free Fall our earth attracts all the objects which are near its surface so that when a body is dropped from the roof of a house, it falls down to the earth. The acceleration produced in the freely falling bodies is the same for all the bodies and it does not depend upon the mass of the falling body. Acceleration due to gravity The uniform acceleration produced in a freely falling body is due to the gravitational pull of the earth is called acceleration due to gravity. The value of acceleration due to the gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. 
force is equal to mass into acceleration which is equal to m into g equation 1 force due to gravitation f is equal to m1 into m2 g upon r square equation 2 from equation 1 and 2 m into g is equal to m1 into m2 g upon r square g is equal to gm upon r square g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square difference between weight and mass mass the mass of the body is the quantity of matter contained in it the mass of the body is constant and does not change from place to place it is denoted by small m mass of the body is a measure of inertia of the body mass cannot be zero weight the weight of the body is the force with which it is attracted towards the center of the earth the weight of the body depends upon the mass of the body and acceleration due to gravity at that place weight is newton one kilogram weight is that gravitational force which acts on a body of mass one kilogram weight is not constant the weight can be zero at the center of the earth equation of motion for freely falling bodies the three equations of motion of freely falling bodies is given as v is equal to u plus gt s is equal to ut plus plus one upon two gt square v square is equal to u square plus 2gs acceleration due to gravity for free falling body is plus 9.8 meter per second square acceleration due to gravity for a body thrown upwards is minus 9.8 meter per second square weight of an object on the moon is 1 upon 6th thrust and pressure thrust the force acting on a body perpendicular to its surface is called thrust thrust is equal to pressure into area the si unit is newton pressure the force acting perpendicularly on a unit area of the object is called pressure force produces less pressure if the area is large and produces large pressure if the area is small pressure is equal to force upon area the SI unit is Newton's per square meter uses of pressure in everyday life the school bags have white stripes because the weight will fall over large area and will reduce its pressures on the shoulders the tip of the needle is sharp because it will put the force on a very small area of the cloth and producing enough pressure to pierce the cloth being stitched. Pressure on ground is more when a man is walking than when he is standing because when he is walking the weight of man falls on smaller area and it increases the pressure and when he is standing the area is large and it produces less pressure. buoyancy the upward force acting on an object immersed in a liquid is called buoyant force the upward force exerted by liquid is also known as up thrust the tendency of a liquid to exert an upward force on an object placed in it is called buoyancy factors affecting the buoyant force depends upon the volume of the solid object immersed in the liquid it depends upon the density of the liquid in which the object is immersed Archimedes principle 
when an object is wholly or partially immersed in a liquid, it experiences a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the object. The applications are used in designing ships and submarines, lacometers and hydrometers. Buoyant force is equal to weight of liquid displaced by the object. The magnitude of buoyant force is equal to the weight of liquid displaced by the immersed object. Relative density. It is defined as the ratio of the density of a substance to the density of water. It has no unit. Relative density is equal to density of substance upon density of water. Did you know Newton's law of gravitation helps us to find the mass of the earth accurately? Newton's law of gravitation helps us to find the masses of the sun, the moon and the planets. Gravitation is one of the four fundamental interactions of nature along with electromagnetism and the nuclear strong force and weak force. Every planetary body, including the Earth, is surrounded by its own gravitational field, which exerts an attractive force on all objects. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The force of attraction between any two objects is proportional to the product of their masses and inversionally proportional to the square of the distance between them. Gravitation is a weak force unless large masses are involved. The force of gravity decreases with altitude. The weight is equal to the product of mass and acceleration due to gravity. The weight may vary from place to place. The weight of an object on the moon is one upon sixth of that on the earth. When objects are immersed in fluid, they exert a force of buoyancy.